You're gonna have to excuse me if I seem a little bit frustrated in this video. I'm, I seem frustrated because I am frustrated. I'm uploading a transfer update video because, well, stuff's moving so quickly. We've got transfer deadline day. Don't miss that on Hammers Chat, by the way, um, on transfer deadline day. Come and join us in the evening. All the details will be up on social media and everything else. We'll give you all the details there, but it's gonna be really, really good. We've got some excellent guests. Uh, I, can't, I can't guarantee West Ham are gonna make any sign-ins, but uh, we hope that you will decide that Hammers Chat is the place to spend a transfer deadline day. It'll be over on the main channel. As I say, keep an eye on all that stuff. All the details will be there. Um, but anyway, it's, was it the 29th now? And with transfer deadline day imminent, there's a lot happening at West Ham. <laughs> Not everything we want to be happening. And actually, it's all going in the, the wrong direction, isn't it? But I think if I don't update this now, but we could get to the end of the day or by tomorrow's video, the news could be very, very old. The reason I'm frustrated, it feels like there's a bit of a purge going on at West Ham at the moment. It does feel like that with, with Connor Coventry's obviously gone out, uh, Equa's gone out, uh, we've got the Ashby stuff going on. Uh, we discussed uh, in yesterday's video about Harrison Ashby, about uh, Perkins, uh, about Elise, who obviously went at the start of the season. It, it does have that feel about it. I, don't, I think any other, trying to mask it up in any other way would be deflecting what's actually happening. That's a lot, that's a lot A young players who have left and it's a worry and it's a concern and all I would say before I get on to the actual transfer news and the transfer gossip is David Moyes has to make this work whatever his plan is because I can only assume by having this purge he's going to bring people in really really quickly over the next two days whatever happens it has to work because this if this fails, if his experiment fails, this looks bloody awful. If Harrison Ashby goes on and even makes three or four first-team appearances in the Premier League for Newcastle this season, it looks awful. If Elise's form keeps improving and we keep having de basically having injuries at the back, it looks awful. You, you get the idea. If, if we're still down to no strikers and then Perkins continues to play for Leeds United, it just it just all looking horrendous. There is no case to be made for what's happened being a good thing. Um, and, and it's not just that, by the way. Josh Cullen's performing really, really well. Now, I'm not saying Cullen would have done massive things at West Ham. I'm not saying Coventry would have done massive things at West Ham. I'm aware I've not even discussed the transfers yet, but I, I, I did warn you at the start. I, I'm very, very annoyed at the moment. Um, but the only reason I think they wouldn't have done anything is not because I think they're bad players. I think Josh Cullen's a really good player. It's just, look, if David Moyes ain't going to play Flynn Downs, he's not going to play Josh Cullen, he's not going to play Connor Coventry, he's not going to play Elise, he's not going to play Equo, he's not going to play any of these players. Uh, and I find it incredibly frustrating. So what's coming in? What, what do we know? Now, I'm afraid the rest of this video is not going... Now I've just got my little rant out of the way. It's not like the rest of this video is going to be devoid of any sort of frustration. No, there's still sort of nuggets of frustration within it. OK, let's, let's get... Some quick news out of the way. Uh, West Ham are making a bid, apparently, for Santos striker Marcos Leonardo. Again, I apologise for the negative slant I'm going to put on this. It's a loan deal. He scored plenty of goals in Brazil this season. Under normal circumstances, it might not be a bad, a bad thing to do. Um, it's a loan with an option to buy. Be a £13 million deal if it all happens. What's the point? Uh, that's, that's all I think. David Moyes is just not going to play this guy. He will not play. There's no point bringing this guy in. It'll be another one, like the fellow that's just gone into the academy, the Brazilian uh, fellow that we just signed, um, who, I, I don't know, I don't know if he's good, bad or indifferent. We'll never know. David Moyes just doesn't try these guys anyway. I just, I probably would agree that this is not what we need at the moment. We need somebody who's going to come in um, and hit the ground running. It was depressing, again, to hear Moyes talk about Maxwell Cornet. Um, there was... The, the comments about Cornet left more questions than answers. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Cornet has been seeing the specialist over in France. I don't entirely know what's wrong with him. They sort of hope they fixed it. I'm paraphrasing here. He's back into training on Monday. And at that point, they'll come to assess him. But uh, even then, if he starts training, then he still won't be ready. Uh, won't be ready and up to speed in the Premier League. We hear this constantly. No one's up to speed and ready in the Premier League. No one's, no one's ever quite fit enough. I, it's, it's annoying. I'm really, really annoyed about it, actually. I'm, and I'm sick of hearing it. I think that's the point. I'm absolutely sick of hearing it. Uh, so that's, yes, yeah, sorry. So that's Marcos Leonardo. Don't know anything about him, which, which is fine, you know. Right, let's deal with um, uh, the let's deal with the Lorient striker Terra Moffi. This 
this is a story that's been running and running. So I just realised I got me wrong. Glasses on. Don't worry, I'm get. I've I've ordered new glasses. I, I keep switching my glasses at the moment. I was using these ones the other day. The lens, whoop, look, popped out just like that. Amazing. Uh, my my glasses situation is perilous. Let's put it this way. Uh, so, um, Terra Moffy, we've been uh, apparently after this guy or window. I don't. I, I don't know whether that's true or whether that's not true. A lot of it's going to, I think, had Danny Ings have stayed fit, had uh, uh, Skamaka been fit, I believe that Antonio would have been off and maybe this deal would have been wrapped up sooner. Here's the point. He doesn't particularly want to come to us. It's another one of those frustrating ones. <laughs> Why do we keep chasing players that don't want to come to us? He he would prefer to go to Nice. This is this is your this is Yosef and Nesri. This is Jesse Lingard. Anyone you like, all over again. We we know this story. We chase players who don't want to come. We keep players who don't want to stay. It's all it's all wrong. Everything is wrong. Okay. So anyway, calm down. Calm down. I'm talking about me, not you. You might be, you might be hit up as well. <laughs> Look, Moffy. Moffy looks a decent enough player. I'm not going to go into his qualities again. We've already gone through all of that. FC Lorient have accepted apparently a bid from West Ham. 20, 25 million. Who cares, right? And when I say who cares, I mean I don't care. I don't want a striker. I don't care about the small detail at this point. The small details are, are of no interest. Two days left in the transfer window. I'm interested in getting players in because, by my word, we've lost a few, right? Apparently, um, there, were, there were two interested parties, us and Nice, the two clubs that had met the valuation um, of Lorient's valuation. Moffy prefers Nice. Uh, Lorient don't want to sell him to Nice because they're obviously rivals. They, they would prefer to sell him to West Ham. Now, at the point where we declared our interest, they had a look and said, oh, actually, you've got a goalkeeper there. Uh, Alphonse Ariola, French goalkeeper. Wouldn't mind him. Ariola apparently is requested to go out on loan and you can't blame him. I've said this. I've said this. I, I read somewhere that, that, that Ariola's got to be patient. Patient? It's been 18 months. What, wait until next year? That's not patience. That's a long, that's a big chunk of a footballer's career, two years. That's not patient. It's just, it ain't going to happen, is it? I mean, it may well do eventually. But I, I would understand his frustration. I understand all these players' frustrations, actually. West Ham must be a frustrating player. Uh, it must be a frustrating place to be. Whether you're a youngster that can't break into the team or whether you're a £100,000 a week star which he is, by the way, Ariola from Paris Saint-Germain, who can't break into the team, or whether you're Mikel Antonio. It's a frustrating place to be. They're all very public with it now, by the way. So anyway, uh, what, what's, what's happened is Lorient were about to sign someone called Abamba Dieng. We've been linked with him before. Uh, he failed a medical, basically. And because he failed a medical, they doubted that Moffy would, would leave. It, apparently now Lorient are saying Moffy can leave. Whether he comes to West Ham, I don't know. There were rumours surrounding last night that Moffy had, had actually signed for Nice. As I've looked and I've, I have just checked, I'm not sure that that's actually happened. I don't think it has. So at the moment, we still stand a chance. But we are still chasing a player. We are still chasing a player that has pretty much said he doesn't want to come to us. Why aren't we chasing somebody else? We may well be, that we may have other irons in the fire, but why are we leaving it so late? Well, we're lucky. In this transfer window, we are lucky that the build-up, the final game, is to an FA Cup game where it doesn't matter anyway. So, actually, we probably can put out a, not a second string, but a, a you know, Whatever. We don't have to take the FA Cup totally seriously. And what we can do is we can pull a lot of our resources and, and people at the club can look to try and push through these, these transfers for some players that we need. And we are going to need players. Uh, the, the whole right-back situation is crazy. We're still going for a right-back? I don't know. I mean, I'm not even going to go into the Ashby bit because I've already mentioned it. I mentioned it in yesterday's video. But Souffal was going to leave, right? That was the whole point. Souffal was going to leave. His contract is up at the end of the season. Yes, we have. A, I think we might have an option on Souffal. We've got an option on Souffal and Lanzini. Possibly one other. I need to go and check. Uh, but Souf, Souf, not only is Souffal's contract up at the end of the season, he was talking about leaving in this window. So are we still in for um, a right back or is it a right wing back if David Moyes is going to change formation? Whatever it is, is going to work. The noises coming from the club were... And this is where, because obviously Sean Dyche has gone to uh, Everton now and he was one of the candidates to, to take, you know, to take over the, the West Ham job. The noises from the boardroom are 
that things are looking more promising now, in inverted commas. OK, I mean, they're obviously privy, privy to some information that I don't know. Surely that can't, that, that suspicion that things are looking more promising can't just be based on the Everton game. That, that can't be it, right? They can't, those can't be the foundations for why they think things are going to get better. Because actually, things look pretty bad at the moment, be it injuries, you know, signing players that are injury prone, uh, players that we've already signed and not been able to come back for injury, players that we've got that want to leave, uh, losing a centre-back. Regardless of what you thought about uh, Craig Dawson, massive part of the squad, losing a centre-back, um, a Zuma's injury, uh, hemorrhaging all these young players. Weird. I mean, really weird. And the latest rumour is, and I, I didn't know this when I did the, um, when I did the video on Harrison Ashby yesterday, the latest rumour is that 250 grand is what we might be selling Harrison Ash before. Um, what's the point? I mean, I mean, what is the point in doing that? So it, I, I would understand it. If this, this lad is going to go to a tribunal and they will decide upon the fee. OK, I, I, would, I, I would understand not wanting him to go to a tribunal if Newcastle are offering sort of three million quid. We might think, well, do you know what? We probably won't get at the tribunal. We'll get 250 grand at a tribunal. We absolutely will. So Scotland under 21 international. As I say, I think he'll probably feature in the Premier League this season. We can make the case that he's already played European football. We will get more than that. that, that I'm, I'm absolutely certain of it. Why, why would we accept that? We're better off keeping him here this season. Under any other manager, of course, not David Moyes. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Here's, here's a little one for you. Sorry, I know it's a bit ranty, this video. I know he didn't come and, and, and so on and so forth. And I'm talking about Pochettino here. But had we have got Pochettino in, crikey, even Bielsa. And I'm not saying we should have got Bielsa in. But they are the type of managers who would come in, they would look at Harrison Ashby and they would put him in the team. And they would actually probably give him enough encouragement to make him want to sign a new deal. And I think if any other manager was in place, you'd be able to say no to... No, you'd be able to prove to him. We'll prove to Harrison Ashby that he has a future at this club. So actually, I, I do sort of get it, you know, about that they, they're going to let him go. But it's not like we're, we're particularly strong in, in all areas of the squad. We, we, we get decimated by injury. Not all of them. I know people always ask you, do you think we've got a massive problem with injury? I do, but I don't. I think, you know, so, I, some of it I think is, is bad luck. I don't just think it's bad training. Some people try, uh, blame the training pitch. I'm going to say this now and I'm going to curse him, and I, but I'm not overly superstitious, you know. <laughs> Declan Rice tends not to get injured, doesn't he? There are a number of players who, who don't get injured too frequently. Aaron Cresswell's not been injured for large chunks of his career. He's been at West Ham uh, for a long, long time. Antonio, we've kept fit for the last 18 months. There, there are a lot of players who don't get injured. Uh, Sue Fowl doesn't suffer long periods out with injury. Suchek doesn't get injured. So I, I don't think it, that's it. I just think... If I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. I'm sure if anyone knew what was going on, they'd be able to stop it. The point of the matter is we do have a lot of players out with injury, so we're not in a position. Why are we letting all these players go? Um, unfathomable would be the words that I would use. I think that's the word. Um, that's the word I would use. Anyway, that's been the transfer update. I'm sorry it's a little bit panicked. I'm sorry it's a little bit worried, but I am quite panicked and worried at the moment. I, I'm not seeing this. Things are looking better and things are looking more promising. I'm, I, I see a mess of a transfer strategy, an absolute mess. I'm prepared to be proven wrong, but they've got to prove me wrong within the next two days.